subscribe to the Light Sports and Ultra Light Flyer web video magazine with hundreds and hundreds of videos now online, including air show coverage, Rotax engine tech tips, Rotax 377, 447, 503, 532, and 582 engine rebuilding videos, each two hours in length, propeller maintenance, advisories, and repairs, VRS parachute saves, Bing carb updates, and much, much more. Get a yearly subscription at www.ultralightflyer.com. Dan, does your wife know how many airplanes you own? <laughs> Don't I wish. But hey, what more could you ask for? Standing in the middle of a bunch of cool airplanes here at the Midwest LSA Expo 2010. So we, what airplanes have we got here? Well, we got four really neat choices, but they're all low-wing metal airplanes, all SLSA or LSA. So let's go around the circle here. First, we have the Breezer aircraft, Breezer 2, all metal out of Germany. Over here, we have the Vector Sports Star Max, all metal out of the Czech Republic. Here we have the RANS S19 Ventera, all metal out of the United States, SLSA or ELSA or experimental, amb experimental amateur built. And finally, but certainly not last, the RV-12 from Vans Aircraft, also a U.S. production, also all metal, also available as ELSA or experimental amateur build. They are not currently offering an SLSA fully built model. Now, what are the similarities between these airplanes? Well, the obvious similarities, they're all low wing, they're all metal. And for an awful lot of people, that's just the right combination. If you're a metal lover and you know that you can get repairs done easily, then that's a great choice for you. If you're a low wing guy or gal, that's uh, obviously these are some of your best choices. Some people are high wing, some people are low wing. Here we've assembled what we think is sort of the first time this has been done. Uh, four really good choices here. Every one of these things is a really nice flying airplane. Everyone has their differences. This one uses the uh, Rotax 912 engine in it. Well, as we go around a circle here, we're going to hear that again and again. Another Rotax 912 horsepower. Another one, although this airplane is, I got to fly it here, and there's one just over there a little bit that's got a 3300 Jabiru in it. We may see some more of that. There's still an evaluation on it, but it looks good and flew great. And another 912 powered LSA. Another one that could in the future perhaps have a uh, Jabiru 3300 on it as well. So those are some obvious similarities. Other ones are all four airplanes are side-by-side -side seating. They all have canopies that allow huge visibility. They've all got nice wide cockpits that anybody can fit in. Uh, even larger Americans with uh, an enjoyment of hamburger eating. And uh, they're all highly developed airplanes that all fly very nice from established manufacturers. Let's go around the circle the other way. There are 7,000 or so Vans aircraft, not just the RV-12. This is their LSA model. They've got a whole slew of them. And if you've been around aviation five minutes, you know about Vans aircraft. The largest kit producer in the world. One of the largest aircraft producers, therefore, in the world. The Breezer aircraft is another one that's been around for a number of years. I believe the development started in about 2002. Probably the lowest number of them flying of the group here, but that's only because these other guys got a lot. This is another one that's well proven in Europe. And uh, recently they had a very interesting thing. Uh, one of the very top politicians in Europe came to their brand new airfield that they just opened and decided that rather than go on his corporate airplane somewhere, he had one of the factory guys fly him to his next meeting. Kind of fun. The Sports Star, this is the very first LSA ever certified and they'll never lose that title because there can only be one first. This airplane was first certified on April 7, 2005, and it's one of the top ranking airplanes in the uh, market survey. It's gone through a lot of nice development. Uh, it's really a very nice, slick, comfortable airplane. GA pilots are gonna love it right away. Of course, they probably like any of these right away. So the hardest part about this little decision we've got going on here is, unless you can afford more than one, which one would you pick? Finally, we come to the RANS. Another one that's right on the tails of Vans aircraft and the number of aircraft totally out there. I believe there are about 4,500 Rands of all models and they have a whole bunch of models just like Vans does. This is their S19 Ventera, one of the newest ones available as all categories like we said, SLSA, ELSA, or experimental amateur build. Based in Hayes, Kansas, uh, they've had long support in the field and they've got dealers around and lots of people who have built these things just like Vans to give you support from people who have actually done it, not just from the factory guys that know it up one side and down the other. So if we were to do a little bit of uh, ground handling on these airplanes, what would be the differences that we would notice? Well, 
Uh, let's see here. Well, one, one little difference about this one, uh, actually there's two of the group out here that have this. It's a front entrance, first of all. It's not ground handling yet, but it's about getting in the airplane. You can see the step is in front of the wing. So bring your camera around here to your left, and the RV-12 uses the same idea. Now that's kind of a cool idea because for some folks, and I'm actually one of them, getting up on the back of the wing can be a little bit of a challenge for some. But it's not that hard, and indeed that's how you do it on both of these. So with the rands over here to the right, you put down the uh, flaps and you get up on the wing. You can see the stripes on the wing there. That's a grip area. Uh, the entrance is not difficult at all, but you do enter from the back of the wing. The same as the Evector. And in all cases, because these are light sport airplanes, the wings are a little lower. They're not challenging to get in at all. Maybe somebody who is uh, actually physically challenged might have trouble, but everybody else will find it no sweat at all. And as far as the uh, ground handling of the airplanes, Dan? Well, let's see. Got to go around the circle here. The uh, uh, RV-12, that's a, a castering nose wheel, so you steer it by uh, toe brakes. So obviously it's got toe brakes on both sides. The uh, Breezer, this is a nose wheel steering airplane. The Evector is a nose wheel steering airplane. And the RANS, we come back to castering. So Dan, a conventional aircraft pilot, how is he going to feel in these airplanes? Well, first of all, they're all joystick, so if you're a yoke guy, you're going to have to make that transition anyway. But all four airplanes, side-by-side -side seating, all four airplanes, dual joysticks, all four airplanes, dual rudder pedals. Some of them have nose wheels, uh, toe brakes, some of them don't. Um, and in all cases, they have a little bit different distribution arrangements. Let's start off here with the Vans aircraft. These are all sold out of Vans aircraft in Oregon. Now, they do have a couple of representatives in other places. But since these are sold as ELSA kits or as experimental amateur built kits, the kits all come out of Oregon and then you get various kinds of support for them. But vans have so many builders out there that the support for them is actually quite good the way they're doing it. In a little bit of a different scheme here, Breezer Aircraft is based out in Breezer Aircraft USA. It's a German company, but Breezer Aircraft USA is based out of Plant City, Florida, which if you've been to Sun and Fun, you know Plant City because it's one of the great airports where lots of demo flying is done. That's run by a fellow named Mike Z. The last name's a little bit of a tongue twister, so everybody knows him as Mike Z. He's been around a long time. I called him a Florida legend once, and I think that's pretty accurate. He's representing all the entire United States out of that. Wherever you are, he'll come and help you right there, and Mike Z knows a lot of stuff, so having that source is not bad, even if you've got to wait a day or two for him to get to you. Uh, and they're going to be building that more and more as they go along, too. The Vector aircraft, as we said, one of the most established airplanes in the business. They've got distribution, and uh, distribution is uh, out of the Czech Republic, of course, where the manufacturing is done. And uh, well, the fellow that brought this one here from AB Flight, uh, is Art Tirola, and he represents them in the Pennsylvania area. They have representatives in other parts of the country. And finally, as we come around to the RANS, uh, being one of the most established of the four here in this lightweight class of airplanes, VANS is very well established, but they made some heavier airplanes, and so this one is well known among the light sport community and uh, the ultralight community very well. Uh, the base headquarters is in Hayes, Kansas, but they have dealers in various places that can help you out, such as the man who built this airplane here. And this one wasn't a, a kit-built airplane, but it is sold as ready to fly as well. So, how do we find out more information from these? Let's go around the circle again. First of all, it's Vans Aircraft, and uh, that stems from Dick Ben Grunsven, who is the uh, designer of this, but vansaircraft.com. Get you all the information you need on that one. This one here is there's breezeraircraft.de. That's the German guys, but for Americans, it's breezeraircraftusa.com. And I'm checking on my iPhone here to make sure I've got all this right because we've got a lot of web addresses here. And finally, we come to Evector Aircraft. That's evector-aircraft.com. And Evector is E-V-E-K-T-O-R-aircraft.com. And finally, the easiest one of the websites is rans, R-A-N-S.com. When you get to RANS, though, you'll see that they also make bicycles. One of the few companies that does something as different as that, but they do both. So when you get to RANS.com, you'll have to click on the little airplane symbol. That'll take you right into their port of their website that has all that information on it. And do you have any information on any of these airplanes on your website, Dan? I have information on all of them. Plus, looking at my SLSA sheet here on my iPhone, that's how you can find out if you didn't get all that information we told you earlier or if you can't read it on the screen. Go look at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. We'll give you all the rest of the information.